Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna update the uh, maps on Audi A6, MMI 3G Plus. Um, so in order to do that, I had to upgrade my MMI. Um, if you haven't done that yet, watch my last video, unless your MMI is on the version that is compatible with the newest maps. Uh, so I have to do that. I had to do that. Link in the description below. Also, obviously, for the upgrade, you're gonna need the map database files. I'm um, posting link in the description for, to the Audi forum, and uh, if you just go there and look at it, you'll know where to get them. <coughs> so essentially, the update is a update map update is a four-step process. We're gonna delete the old database, remove the partition. And then we're gonna upload new maps and then activate them. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start and hopefully everything goes smooth. There's some there are some risks associated with this update. Hopefully everything goes good and I don't have to go to the dealer or try to figure out how to fix it. So let's start. Okay guys, so here we are <laughs> accessing green menu, so pressing menu and car menu and car buttons uh, buttons simultaneously. Okay, so now we have to scroll down to navigation, so nav, and database update, okay, and delete database, we'll need reboot. That's the one. I'm hoping you guys can see this on the screen. Yep, so delete database, we'll need reboot. Press that. It's gonna remove the data. I think at this point we can restart the system. I was, uh, my directions here were a little bit different, but it looks like it removed it. It says wait 30 seconds and reboot. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna reboot it by pressing menu, the knob and the top right button. Those three. Okay, so we're back here. Need to access green menu again and remove the HDD partition. I'm waiting for it to fully start. I gotta tell you that after this upgrade, it's so much easier to access green menu. Before, you had to be perfect pressing those two buttons at the same time exactly to like one tenth of the second. Right now, it's it's more forgiving. And now we're going back to nav. And database update. And now we do uh, 
now we do delete nav HDD partition. Okay, so we got rid of the partition. Waiting 30 seconds and gonna reboot it again. Okay guys, so we're back, have the data on the card, throw that in SD1, <coughs> and now we are accessing the red menu, so car and back buttons at the same time. And we do the same what we did before the MMI upgrade. So we go bottom right for update, SD1. So MMI 3G plus, navigation data 616.2. Oh, I had to get in there first, so pressing knob now it's reading okay select standard I don't think we're changing anything here. So there is the navigation map styles. This is what's getting updated. And start update. Must be not interrupted, must not be interrupted. So make sure your car is running or do something so MMI doesn't shut off and start. Hey guys, looks like we're finishing up here. Yep. Go 
continue. Abort documentation. Okay, guys, so now we have uh, we uploaded the new maps. Now we have to activate them. There is an activator tool, um, the same link that I provided previously. <clears throat> so we have to get to that menu. So we're pressing five buttons at the same time. It's navigation, telephone, radio, and media, and car buttons. So let's see if that works. Okay, I removed the card, pressed OK, now we have to reboot the MMI. No, oh, it's actually rebooting itself. And the map should be working according to this. Let me make sure the card is out. So the Navi is upgraded and working. Uh, the trick with deactivating is was once you press those five buttons, don't expect anything to come up on the screen. So just you just press them, put the card in with the activation uh, software, and then the screen changes and says it's gonna activate. Press any key to activate. So that's the tricky part. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.